Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today I'll be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Diamond Bar, California. This store has quite an interesting history being one of the stores that closed in 2020. Anyways, let's get into the video. This location opened in 1983 at 1900 South Bree Canyon Road as a pizza time theater. Not much is known about Diamond Bar during this time, but we do have the floor plans. A few photos from an unknown date, most likely before the 90s, shows the sea stage. The first photo shows the Chuck Cybers vest and derby, as well as some of Helen and the back of Jasper. The second photo shows the Chuck walk around at the time, with a seemingly standard tuxedo and derby outfit. They also most likely received the 1988 remodel around this time, which also means they would have received a new exterior that's somewhat similar to this. Sometime in the 90s, Diamond Bar would receive Operation Thump Chuck, maybe even an earlier version, which consisted of replacing older decor or newer decor, removing the checkers, remodeling the exterior, new games and rides, and most likely a new show. In Diamond Bar's case, this new show would be a one stage. Weirdly, this one stage in particular would have two stage backdrops. Usually this would happen with relocated two stages. Odd. Diamond Bar would stay mostly the same after a while. I don't have any footage of Diamond Bar in the 90s, but they most likely probably would have stayed the same as they kept the Operation Thumbshock remodel for most of its lifespan. A photo from an unknown date, most likely in the 90s, shows this Chuck costume. He is wearing his normal cap and head and some suit. This is probably taken in the 90s based on the booze in the photo. Most likely when they received purple walls, they would get rid of the showroom walls and the artifact shelves. I also saw the 1998 Chuck poster in the background of a few photos. Very strange. Yeah, they also had the confetti poster from like 1991 at the same time. I don't know how this happened, but I guess that's just how it works. There are a lot of photos showing the games as well as the sky tubes. A few more photos show the stage over time. In most of Diamond Bar's lifespan, the Chuck Cyber would retain his cool Chuck outfit as shown in these photos, although his cap would also be removed at an unknown date, possibly after maybe the Cool Chuck remodel. Footage from 2010 shows Diamond Bar's stage, showroom, and artifact shelves. It also shows some of the store. More footage from 2010 shows the entire showroom. In the late 2010s, Diamond Bar would finally start to get recognized. There are a few store tours as well as a few stage performance videos. These toys show off Diamond Bar's weird layout, and of course, their old art. A photo from September 2018 shows most of the game room and some of the art. In Diamond Bar's later years, the Chuck Cyberamic would eventually see the Rockstar outfit. Footage from January 2019 shows Diamond Bar's stage in okay shape, but there definitely could have been improvements. In 2020, Chuck E. Cheese would go bankrupt, closing many locations. One of these locations, unfortunately, would be Diamond Bar. This makes sense to me as its very odd location next to office buildings and a highway probably contributed to this closure. This store would remain abandoned with the removal of the signage on the exterior sometime between mid-2021 and 2022. Around this time and maybe when the store was still open, Arcade Craniacs would film this location. A few photos from April 2020 show Diamond Bar State at the time of closure. The two photos show lots of boxes, presumably of things in the store, as well as a record poster in the back. You can even see some of the stage. The store would be fenced off with a video showing the interior. Another video shows Diamond Bar's condition at the time. After only two years of closure, the small amount of footage showed Diamond Bar in a terrible shape with lots of vandalism even when fenced off. In 2023, the store would be rumored to change into an office or medical facility. The building would be fully gutted, only leaving the frame. The entire store would be rebuilt in November of 2023, confirming the rumor. Here's an aerial photo of the rebuilt Diamond Bar from maybe May of 2024. As you can see, they have mostly completed construction by this time. Overall, this store is quite interesting, being located in a very odd spot, getting a one stage with two stage backdrops, closing in 2020, and being repurposed drew me towards this location. If you would like to see more of these videos, comment below, and maybe even what store for me to do next. Anyways, save Burbank and also save Spokane.